Hi, I'm David, and I am delighted to be with you today as a guest teacher here on the channel of one of my favorite yoga teachers and favorite humans, Cole Chance. So happy to be a part of this family. And I've got a sweet little nugget for you today. It's a morning breathe and stretch practice that will help you melt away tension and tightness and it will leave you feeling energized so that you can be extraordinary today. And if you love this class, then I will be teaching a full one hour live class uh, on colchanceyoga.com coming up really soon. There's a link below in the video description, which will give you more info on how you can register for that class. And I really hope I see you there. It's going to be fun. And now let's breathe and stretch and wake up that internal feel-good energy that's just waiting for us to tap in. To begin our practice, go ahead and make your way to a comfortable seat. You can sit in any position that helps you feel relaxed and grounded. You want to feel the earth beneath you. We're going to start with a calming breath practice here to help uh, clear away some of the clutter that accumulates up here and in here, <laughs> right? And this breath practice really helps us to do that. So sit up nice and tall. Hands can rest on the knees or wherever they're comfortable. Close your eyes. Let's take a great big breath in through the nose. Lift the shoulders up toward the ears. Open mouth, exhale. Let the shoulders fall. One more time, just like that big breath, shoulders rise. Open mouth, exhale, shoulders melt. Let's come back to a nice, easy breath in and out through your nose. And just allow yourself to relax into each exhale. Bring your awareness to the crown of your head and feel a softening, melting sensation from the crown across your scalp, letting go of tightness, tension. Relax into your eyes and your cheeks. Relax into your jaw all the muscles of your face softening, letting go of any tightness. Let's move a little deeper into our breath now with a four part breath. And so we'll inhale through the nose for a count of four. We'll hold at the top for two. We'll exhale through the nose for four and hold at the bottom for two. This is all through the nose and I will guide you with a count. So let's inhale through the nose. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale just to clear. And inhale through your nose for one, two, three, four, and hold. Two, one. Exhale through the nose, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, one. Exhale through the nose, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, one. Exhale through the nose, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, one. Inhale through the nose, one, two, three, four, and hold, two, one. Big open mouth, exhale, relax, 
And let's sit for a moment, eyes closed, welcome this experience. And keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to your knees and dip your chin to your chest. Roll the right ear toward the right shoulder and let that left shoulder fall away from the ear. Feel that nice little stretch in the neck. You can kind of tick-tock your head back and forth over that shoulder. And let's take it to the other side, chin to chest and left ear to left shoulder. Right shoulder falls away and again just roll the head back and forth over the shoulder a little bit. And let's go back and forth like this. Right ear to right shoulder. Breathe into the sensation of the neck. And left ear to left shoulder. Just rocking gently and softly. Breathing into the sensations that you feel. And if you find a juicy spot, feel free to just stay for a little bit and work into it. And now let's get a little bit deeper into the neck here. So roll the right ear to the right shoulder and bring your hand to the top of your head. And just let the weight of your arm pull the right ear down toward the shoulder. Let the left shoulder fall away from the ear. Now you're not muscling through this. You're just letting gravity and the weight of your arm do the work. You can roll the head forward a little bit and feel that stretch working into the back of the neck. And then back to the side. Nice. Release the right hand. And let's take it to the other side. Left hand to the top of the head and let the left ear fall toward the shoulder, feeling the weight of the arm pulling gently. Let that right shoulder fall away. Breathe into that sensation. You can roll the head forward a little bit if it feels good. and Feel that juicy stretch in the back of the neck. And then coming back to the side. And as you inhale, release the hand. Sit up nice and tall. And blink your eyes open. Okay, we're going to work into a little stretch in the hips and getting some space in the spine with some twists here. This is a twist called Arda Matsyandrasana, or Half Lord of the Fishes pose. It's fun to say. It's fun to do. Okay, so with the left knee, you want to bend the left knee and point it straight ahead. And then take that right foot and step it to the outside of the left thigh. Now the key here is keeping both sit bones on the ground. You'll feel this right sit bone want to lift up here. So kind of push yourself up and position so that both sit bones are on the ground. Right hand comes behind you. Push into the earth here to lift up nice and tall through the spine, through the crown of the head. Really want a long spine. Two options. You can use your left hand on the right knee to twist, or you can take it a little bit deeper by using the left elbow to the outside of that knee. Push into the right hand, lift up tall, and as you exhale, slowly twist. Gently, no forcing here. And keep on checking in, making sure the right sit bone is grounded here. Each inhale, push into the right hand, get tall. And each exhale, deepen into the twist just a little bit. As you exhale, slowly unwind. And we'll take a little counter stretch here. Bring both hands to the mat to the left side. And slowly bend and dip the head all the way down to the mat to the left. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, and let's do the other side. So this time, the right knee bends, pointing straight ahead, and that left foot steps to the outside of the right thigh. Left hand plants behind you, and again, push into the earth. Grow nice and tall here. Hand to the knee, or elbow to the knee. Inhale, push and lift, and exhale, deepen. Breathe and relax taking it nice and slow, 
gentle. You never want to force twists or any stretch for that matter. Just listen to your body and let each breath carry you a little bit deeper until you find that sweet spot that feels like a balance between ease and effort. Exhale, unwind. We'll take that counter stretch. Both hands come to the mat on your right side and then take a bow. Bring the head down to the mat. Beautiful. Push yourself back up. Let's take both legs wide here. We're going to work into a nice stretch in the hamstrings and the hips and the low back. So keep the right leg extended. Bring the sole of the left foot inside that right thigh. And tent your fingertips up. Square the chest over the extended leg. Tent the fingertips up. As you inhale, lift up nice and tall through the heart, through the crown of the head. And just walk your fingertips forward as you fold, keeping your spine nice and long. So every inhale, lengthen and every exhale, deepen. We're going nice and slow here. Listen to your body. So we're only folding or stretching to the point of a little bit of sensation, but not pain. Take it down to your fullest expression, wherever that is. And once you get there, relax for a couple of breaths. And as you inhale, slowly rise. And now we'll work a little deeper into the low back here, the QL muscle or quadratus lumborum. That's that little muscle that lives between the top of your hip and the bottom rib. And man, it gets tight when we sit a lot. So this is a good one to, um, to get in there and uh, loosen it up. Right hand comes down to the mat inside the, the right leg. Left hand to the sky. Twist to open your heart to the sky. Bring that left hand behind your head and push your head back a little bit. And then start walking that right hand down toward the right heel just until you feel that stretch in the low back on the left side. Breathe into it. And every few breaths, you can twist a little bit deeper. Take your elbow, left elbow to the sky and walk that right hand down a little further toward the heel. Even past the heel if it feels good for you. The idea here is you want to keep your left sit bone grounded. That's the key. Breathe into it and relax. As you inhale, rise up. Bring the left hand to the mat behind you. Lift your hips and sweep that right hand up and over. Great big stretch from the right toes to the right fingertips. Wiggle your fingers. Let's take some big sweeping circles with that right hand in one direction and in the opposite direction. Nice, lower your sit bones and let's do the other side. Extend the left leg long, sole of the right foot comes in that left leg. Square your chest over the left leg, tent the fingertips up, nice tall spine here and just begin to walk your fingers folding forward gently, listening to your body as you go. And each time you do feel some sensation, maybe hang out there. Close your eyes, breathe. Let your body catch up <laughs> to, to uh, the position. And gently take it down to your place of fullest expression. As you inhale, slowly rise, and let's work into that little QL stretch, low back stretch on the right side. So left hand inside that extended leg, right hand to the sky, gaze to the lifted hand. 
and bring the right hand behind your head. Push the head back a little bit to point your elbow to the sky. And then we start to walk that left hand toward the heel, keeping the right sit bone grounded. That's the key. Every couple of breaths, check in with yourself. You can deepen by twisting a little bit deeper, more deeply, <laughs> elbow to the sky. Keep walking those left fingers toward the heel until you find that sweet spot. Relax, breathe into it. As you inhale, slowly rise, right hand to the mat behind you, left fingers sweep up and over, stargazer, reach and stretch, oh, what a glorious stretch from the left toes to the left fingers, and then some big sweeping circles with that left hand, opposite direction, great big breaths as you sweep the hand in circles. And lower your sit bones and come back to a seat, an easy seat on your mat. So we're gonna end our practice with a little kundalini-inspired energization and breath exercise to wake up your internal energy and leave you feeling vibrant and energized for your day. And this is called arc line clearing and it comes from kundalini yoga. So it's really fun and easy. You make a fist by curling the thumbs to the base of the palm fingers over the thumbs. We exhale, taking the elbows back. Inhale, cross your arms over the heart. Exhale, elbows come back. And inhale, the fists come all the way past the ears and elbows point to the sky. Now the pace is dynamic and it looks like this. I'll just demo it and then we'll do it together in a moment. <sighs> Okay, the idea here is to really let yourself relax and just let the momentum of the arms take you. And a good way to remember is every time the elbows come back, you exhale. Okay, here we go. Eyes closed and go. <sighs> exhale each time the elbows come back and really relax, relax the muscles of your face, your cheeks, your jaw, and just let the momentum of the arms carry you to a place of spacious openness. You're doing great, relax into it. If you feel yourself getting dizzy, slow it down. Let the pace be energizing and fun. Almost there, a couple breaths, stay with it. As you inhale, take your fists all the way past the ears, elbows to the sky. Hold your breath for four, three, two, one. Exhale, let the hands float down to the knees. Sit tall and welcome the experience. And bring your palms together at your heart, keeping your eyes closed. Let your shoulders relax. And we raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow. And we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Wishing you all a beautiful day. Can't wait to see you again. Thank you.